So meanwhile, back at race car school, we've got both cars tore to shit. It's too early to go to California. No, it's not. California. It's too early for that. Let's go to California. That sounds like fun. Yeah, we better get up. Fine, but uh, welcome to Shelby Exacts. We're packed up and ready to go to Bakersfield. Finally, to get away. Finally, to get away from the winter door. Field, California to test the GT350 TR at Button Willow Raceway. So we got our rental car. I went with the Toyota Camry just because of Rowdy V2. I doubt it's anywhere near as fast, but it does look a lot like it. All right, how do we turn? All right, so we're putting that off, putting this on, putting that up. Maybe like that. Okay. Goes. There he goes, little fella. Woo! All right. Population 390,000. So smaller than Grand Rapids. But there's a nice big old Amazon facility right there. Friggin' Amazon taking over the world. One two day ship at a time. All right, folks, we are headed to Best Buy to pick up some whatever stuff for the thing, some camera shit and some stuff. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that Bakersfield is not the most picture skew place uh, to travel. It's a bit industrialized and a bit 
neglecticized. It reminds me a lot of Flint, to be honest. There's some buildings downtown with the windows busted out and stuff, but not quite like Detroit level, but certainly, uh, certainly on the level of Flint or Muskegon. Probably more so even Flint than Muskegon. But anyway, enough shit talking Bakersfield. We love Bakersfield. It's just first impressions, kind of like this car. Makes me think of all the Toyota Camry owners out there that really must not be into cars. Because this thing is anything but sporty. It's anything but uh, uh, performance-based. It's anything but... Uh, well, if it is anything, it is certainly A to B transportation that'll get you 33 miles to the gallon. I don't think Rowdy V2 will do that. But that just goes to empower the phrase, I will beat you all with my Toyota Camry. Oh, yeah. Fix that light, dude. Fix it. So we've already passed our Harbor Freight Tools and, of course, Hooters. Everybody needs a Hooters. Maybe I'm just getting old, but eating chicken and looking at boobs is just not my thing anymore. Okay. And we are headed to Button Willow Raceway. You can see out in the distance there, we got mountains with snow on them. Woo! That's my vapor thing telling me I'm stupid. Hell yeah, man. It looks like a desert out here. Flatter than a pancake. Except for way over there. Woo! Lairdo Highway. Take the exit, then turn left onto West Lairdo Highway. Yeah, there's a moose staying right there. At the stop sign, turn left onto West Lairdo Highway. Holy shit, this looks like uh, something out of seven right now. It's in the box. Which way do I go here? Sweet. That's so cool how the snow, I don't know if you can see that or not, but the snow is way up on top of those mountains. That's snow way up there. That is freaking cool. It's weird, it's so flat. <laughs> we are turning on to Cal Club Road here at Button Willow Raceway. This is fucking awesome. All right, welcome everybody. This episode of Shelby Exacts. We are here at Button Willow Raceway. We just paid the man. GT350R is in front of us. Small crowd today. We only got two cars here at the track. But we got the guys from Edge right in front of us. Life's good, buddy. Smog's down to a reasonable level here in Bakersfield. And, ooh, that's nice. She nice. Ooh, 350. Arrived. 350, 350, 353. That's so pretty. All right, Button Willow. 800 bucks for the day for two drivers. I'll be damned. Well, we can't do that where we're going. Woo! What a gorgeous place. Following the Edge Motorsports hauler, 9,000.
just nicked it. We tweaked the right height in a very calculated manner. It, it looks pretty low. <laughs> <laughs> it looks low. Smells good. Look at that jalopy. Jeremiah Wintermark, how you doing, buddy? Glad to meet you, everybody. It's a Welcome race. to Bud and Willow Raceway. Heck yeah, <laughs> buddy. Jeremy's our engineer, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just out here trying to help uh, the team make some objective decisions and push forward. Wonderful. And this is this is Anthony Zwayne, driver and owner of Edge. How you doing, buddy? Good morning. Good morning. A little cold for California. That's all right. We're used to it, man. <laughs> this is warm. This is balmy to me. Yeah, I know. Oh, let me let me give Anthony a Mustang City. Converted, converted Jeff to a Mustang guy. Look at that. Button Willow Raceway. And we'll skip over that part where they're pumping. better than not to hit that coming over the hill I usually don't use that you, you don't use that one it'll at all just, if you're going quick enough there it'll sail the inside and I like to get back down on the ground and start accelerating okay it'll two wheel for a while if you hit it and then you gotta wait to accelerate it's awfully tempting to hit that I can see why it's got a few tire tracks on it
Ready to party, buddy. Sounds all right. I see him bedding in the brakes. There's no amazing location here to spot and watch out, but. Actually, north central version of Shelby Exotics. So we've been working on the Shelby all day because that's pretty much how it goes when you go to the racetrack with one of these cars. Wire harness issues. Everybody knows about those. We're gonna drive it anyway. So meanwhile, back at race car school, things are going about about as planned. <laughs> we've got both cars tore to shit. They're both forts. Yeah, both forts. <laughs> so far, we've had the cam phasers out. Uh, we polished them up with some some 80 grit. Wasn't JB welding it? Yep, JB welded it. We got uh, well, we ran down and got some speaker wire for the harness. We're good. Yeah. 